Hello everyone, you're watching Modern Living TV. Today's episode is all about the choices that we can make for a happier and more fulfilling life. From swimwear options that let you be yourself to fine investments that you'll cherish for a lifetime. These are seemingly small decisions that will actually empower us women. Empowered, that is the word. Great conversations and wonderful insights are coming your way. Only here from your ultimate guide to modern living. Most entrepreneurs are fueled by their drive for successful ventures. But for Patricia and Margot, three unlikely reasons motivated them to put up their business. Friendship, women empowerment, and motherhood. Hey guys, welcome back to Modern Living TV. This is such an interesting topic, the unlikely empowerment of modesty and motherhood. Hi ladies. Hello. You guys are co-owners of Coral Swimwear and Pearl Clothing, right. right? Can you tell me a little bit more first about your background and your story together? Well, Margot and I met 10 years ago um, as two young single women through a program called Pure Fashion. It started in Atlanta and it's a lot about, you know, giving girls the tools for empowerment and self-confidence. So we provide workshops on etiquette, public speaking, um, fun things like fashion and beauty. As we became more involved in the program, we got to know the people behind it. We started to get exposed to these almost foreign concepts of like modesty and purity and like authentic femininity. Because of everything they learned, the words modesty and confidence took on new meanings for Patricia and Margot. We learned that modesty isn't about covering up, but about revealing who you really are. Because, you know, I mean, it's so easy for, you see somebody walking down the street, you get distracted by her body parts because they're, they're, they're exposed, no? So, you know, I'm sure she's a great girl. I'm sure she's, um, she has a... She has a fantastic family, I'm sure she treats people well, but you don't see that because you end up focusing on body parts instead of her personality or her talents, her skills. I think it's also, you know, when you know yourself more, you also, like, I guess are more comfortable, like, you feel like you don't have to show too much of, like, your body in order to reveal yourself to mm -hmm. everyone else. But confidence for some women is hard to come by especially in a society of this day and age where slim waists, flat tummies are the standard for beauty. So Patricia and Margot thought of how they can combat all these insecurities. When we thought of the business, it was at the time of our lives when we were starting our own families. I had one baby at the time. I think Pat was pregnant. Mm -hmm. And we knew we started, we, we wanted to start a business that, you know, could, that we could be more flexible with our time and also still be able to spread the message of like those values that we believed in. And we thought of swimwear because it was so hard like, for us to find modest swimmer that we we wanted to wear that like you yes. know that still made us feel young and stylish right. so we wanted to be able to provide that you know in the market because we didn't we didn't see a lot of it at that time and it's also practical when you have kids right exactly like yeah. i have a closet full of bikinis that i've stopped wearing not because i don't feel comfortable in them and tell me a little bit more about coral swimmer per se what what do you guys offer and so we only sell one piece swimwear no okay. um but we try to keep all our designs on trend yeah. we're very aware of that as moms as well right. that you know everyone has different body shapes mm -hmm. one swimsuit doesn't necessarily look good on every Correct. type of body. So we design for the different body types. Because of the positive response they've gotten, they've expanded their business from swimwear to clothing. Let's talk about pearl clothing. Because you guys moved early this year, you made the shift and started producing um, clothing, not just swimwear. And there was a really important factor there from 
beginning of this year to now. Can you share this? Because motherhood is very much a part of who we are mm -hmm. and like our business. We also wanted to reflect that in our business. So just last month, we relaunched Pearl and we made it catered towards moms. Mm -hmm. Since they were making real clothes for real women, they made sure to consider real challenges that women experience. So when we were finally upfront about our message, like okay, like let's think of real, like real dilemmas. Like what is the problem a new mom has when she gives birth and you know she needs to breastfeed? There are very little stylish options on the market. That was part of the reason why I, I felt like sort of like an identity crisis when I first became a mom because I was used to dressing up. You know, it's very much a part of who I was and. After I gave birth, you know, when I started nursing, it was so hard, you know, to dress up and feel like my old self, you know. So I, that's why I felt like the need to, you know, provide more stylish options for nursing and options that didn't show, you know, sometimes like the, the options out there, like, you know, it's for breastfeeding. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so these, like, the styles we design are styles that, you know, are normal woman would mm -hmm. wear. Just to wrap things up, do you have any tips for let's say budding entrepreneurs or mompreneurs and how they could keep their core values in their business, how they can incorporate that? Start with what you really believe in. Because we wanted to share you know, something that we really value. We were so afraid of talking about modesty before. Like we were like, everybody's gonna hate us. But then as the years went by, we just started to see that like, Wait, women are hungry for this. There are people who are looking for this kind of message. So being honest about that, as Margot said, is definitely one of the things that has helped us the most. And I think just a practical tip as a mompreneur is I've really had to learn that I can't do everything and be everything. And that yeah. there are times when we really have to make tough decisions about what to prioritize in the day. Like sometimes it has to be the kids and sometimes it has to be work. And to always just make decisions um, that you know you'll feel at peace with at the end of the day. Thank you so much, Thank ladies. You. Thank, Thank you. you.